hello everyone welcome to mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to talk about beta function and its properties okay uh, first uh, beta function uh, generally uh, we uh, write uh, by capital B beta of M in capital B generally we didn't use uh, beta beta I think you know because uh, we represent uh, beta uh, as a uh, Dirichlet beta function this is not a Dirichlet beta function so we use capital B so beta of m n and here m n n greater than to 0 and uh, beta function defined uh, by a definite integral beta of m n is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 times 1 minus x to the n minus 1 d x okay now uh, here we have uh, four properties here beta of mn is equal to beta of nm symmetry property then beta of mn integral representation 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x here the uh, limit 0 to infinity but uh, in the definition we have 0 to 1 then uh, beta function represent as a definite integral by using sine and cos so here 2 times 0 to 5 over 2 sine raised to the 2n minus 1 times x times cosine raised to the 2n minus 1 of x dx and uh, finally here we have uh, another uh, useful identity the relation between beta function and gamma function beta of mn is equal to gamma of n gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so in this video uh, we are going to prove this identity okay first one uh, symmetry property so uh, we know the definition of beta of mn is equal to integral representation integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 times 1 minus x to the n minus 1 dx now uh, we can use king's property we know about uh, king's property integral from 0 to a f of x sorry integral from 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral from 0 to a f of a minus x dx okay so we can apply this property therefore here we can write uh, integral from 0 to 1 now instead of x we have 1 minus x so 1 minus x raised to the m minus 1 times 1 minus x we know 1 minus x raised to the n minus 1 dx well then integral from 0 to 1 here 1 minus 1 get cancelled minus minus plus so we have x to the n minus 1 times here 1 minus x to the m minus 1 dx x okay now we know this is the definition of beta function but instead of m we have n and instead of n we have m so this is equal to we know beta of n m okay this is the uh, proof of uh, symmetry property of beta function then uh, we have beta of m n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x raised to the m plus n so uh, now we are going to prove this identity so we can also begin with the definition of beta function beta of mn is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 times 1 minus x to the n minus 1 dx now i am going to take a substitution so this is the substitution x is equal to 1 over 1 plus u now uh, differentiate so dx is equal to minus 1 over 1 plus u square d u well now we can plug in here so we can write here ah before it uh, we should change the boundary so when x approaches to 0 when x approaches to 0 we know u approaches to infinity so lower boundary infinity and x approaches to 1 we know u approaches to 0 and x is equal to 1 over 1 plus u and here power m minus 1 
then here 1 minus x we know again 1 over 1 plus u raised to the n minus 1 and dx we know minus 1 over 1 plus u square du okay now uh, we can simplify a little bit also uh, we can change the upper limit and upper limit when you change the limit this minus sign get cancelled so we can write 0 to infinity now uh, in the denominator we have uh, here 1 here 1 plus u minus 1 1 get cancelled u to the n minus 1 so u to the n minus 1 over in the denominator we have 1 plus u 1 plus u raised to the here m minus 1 power m minus 1 here 1 plus u raised to the n minus 1 and here plus 2 d u okay then we know minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and plus 2 get cancelled so we have uh, beta of m n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now uh, here we have the variable u now we know the definite integral independent of the variable so instead of u we can use uh, x so here x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x to the m plus n dx okay this is the uh, second property now uh, we are going to prove uh, third property this property so we know uh, third one the definition of beta function beta of m n is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 times 1 minus x to the n minus 1 dx we can take a substitution so i am going to take x is equal to x is equal to sine square of y then differentiate dx is equal to 2 times sine of y cosine of y dy so now we can plug in here we know now uh, integral now limit when x approaches to 0 uh, we know sine so here 0 when x approaches to 1 here pi over 2 upper limit now x we know sine square of y so sine uh, raised to the 2 m minus 2 y uh, then here 1 minus x 1 minus sine square of y we know cosine square of y so here cosine raised to the 2n minus 2 of y and dx we know uh, here 2 times sine of y cosine of y dy now we can simplify integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, here 2 constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here sine of uh, power 2m minus 2 here 1 so sine raised to the 2m minus 1 of y times cosine raised to the 2n minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 dy now we know definite integral independent of the variable so we can write 0 to pi over 2 now instead of y we can use x so sine of 2m minus 1 of x times cosine raised to the 2n minus 1 of x dx okay this is the uh, proof of our third identity of beta function now we have to uh, prove the relation between beta function and gamma function well uh, i'm going to begin with the definition of gamma function we know gamma of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x times x to the n minus 1 dx and here n greater than to 0 uh, now i am going to take a substitution so uh, i am going to take x is equal to t times y and here t greater than to 0 then differentiate so dx is equal to uh, t times d y so now uh, we can um, plug in here so we have gamma of n is equal to uh, limit same as 0 to infinity now e to the minus x so minus ty e to the minus ty times x we know t times y so ty raised to the n minus 1 uh, dx we know 
t times d y okay then um, here uh, t to the n minus 1 times t so minus 1 get cancelled t to the n we know t to the n is a constant so we can take outside of the integral sign so gamma of n is equal to t to the n integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times y and here uh, y to the n minus 1 t y now uh, we know the definite integral independent of the variable so i am going to uh, write uh, this integral by using x so gamma of n is equal to t to the n integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t x times uh, x to the n minus 1 d x well uh, now here we have gamma of n is equal to uh, this integral now i am going to multiply uh, both sides by um, e to the e to the minus t times t to the m minus 1 and at the same time uh, i'm going to integrate from 0 to infinity so we can write here gamma of n so gamma of n times integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times t to the uh, n minus 1 t t uh, here uh, not n here m so e to the minus t t to the m minus 1 uh, t t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t e to the minus t uh, t to the m minus 1 t to the m minus 1 parenthesis here we have t to the n t to the n integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus tx e to the minus tx times x to the n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 dx d t okay uh, now uh, we can simplify we know uh, here uh, left hand side integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t t to the m minus 1 the definition of gamma function so uh, gamma of n times this is we know gamma of m so gamma of n gamma of m is equal to now uh, double integral 0 to infinity 0 to infinity here we have e to the minus t minus tx so e to the minus t times 1 plus x uh, then t to the t to the m minus 1 here n so m plus n minus 1 times x to the n minus 1 dx dt okay then uh, i'm going to change the order of integration so we can write now uh, this is equal to integral from 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 times uh, integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus t times 1 plus x times t to the uh, m plus n minus 1 uh, dt dx okay then um, here we have uh, interesting integral uh, but uh, don't worry here we have uh, gamma of n uh, this identity so now i'm going to take this tn uh, to left hand side so we can write uh, gamma of n over t to the n is equal to 0 to infinity e to the minus tx times x to the n minus 1 dx now uh, we can see uh, here uh, this integral uh, this type of integral uh, but instead of n we have here m plus n instead of uh, t we have 1 plus x so we can write uh, now our integral 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 times now this integral we know is equal to gamma of n over t to the n n we know m plus n so 
gamma of m plus n over t to the n t we know 1 plus x so 1 plus x raised to the n power n we know m plus n and here t x okay then uh, we know gamma of m plus n is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign so here we have gamma of n gamma of m is equal to uh, gamma of m plus n times integral from 0 to infinity x to the n minus 1 over 1 plus x raised to the m plus n now we can take uh, gamma of m plus n uh, to left hand side so gamma of n gamma of m over gamma of n plus m is equal to now we know this is our second property of beta function so this is equal to beta of m n okay thank you for watching